Welcome to N1 Electrical Trade Theory, and this is the brand new syllabus starting in 2021. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, to like and to share these videos. Now in module three, we'll be taking a look at hand tools and power tools. And this makes up 5% of the curriculum towards the national exam. In unit 3.1, we'll be taking a look at hand tools. A hand tool requires labor to perform a function. Screwdrivers are used to turn screws. Screwdrivers must not be used as chisels, levers, or scrapers. Long nose pliers are used to reach small and hard places. They also twist and bend wires. Do not apply too much pressure to the long nose pliers and ensure they are oiled often. Combination pliers are used to grip objects and to cut and twist wires. Combination pliers must be oiled often. Diagonal pliers, also known as side cutters, are used to cut wires. Diagonal pliers must also be oiled often. Crimping pliers are used to crimp barrels and lugs. A hacksaw is used for cutting wood, plastic and metal. Ensure the blade is secure and that the teeth are facing forward. A cable knife is used for removing insulation from cables and ensure that you always cut away from you. A spring bender is used to bend PVC conduit and to strengthen the bends to prevent kinking. A hickey bender is used to bend metal conduit and to strengthen the bends without kinking. Draw tapes are used to pull wire through conduit and they are made from steel or nylon. Ensure wires are securely attached to the draw tape and that there is no bulging. General care and maintenance of hand tools. Use the correct tool for the job. Never carry sharp tools in your pocket. Always replace or repair damaged tools. Keep tools clean and well oiled. Never use a hammer with a loose hammer head. In unit 3.2 for power tools, power tools require a power source. For example, a fixed power tool is mounted to the ground, and this is a drill press, for example. A portable power tool is moved around easily, such as a DC battery powered portable drill. Reasons why the care and maintenance of power tools is important is to ensure a longer lifespan, it ensures safety and better operation. In unit 3.2.1, for power tools, we'll be taking a look at pneumatic tools. Pneumatic tools require compressed air. In terms of care and maintenance of pneumatic tools, check for loose screws, clean after use, check for leaks, ensure correct air pressure, and replace damaged seals. For electric tools, electric power tools needs a power source, such as a battery or outlet socket. A fixed electric power tool, such as a drill press. Safety precautions when using a fixed electric power tool, such as a drill press. Clear your work area, tuck and loose clothing, Secure the workpiece. Do not try to remove any metal filings and do not leave it running when not working. In terms of care and maintenance for the drill press, clean after use, lubricate all parts, check condition of drive belt and check condition of switches. A bench grinder has two grinding wheels. The factors that could cause a grinding wheel to fracture is excessive heating, running at high speeds, and applying too much force. Some aspects concerning the care and maintenance of portable electric power tools. Clean your power tools, store them in a clean and dry place, lubricate moving parts, tighten all parts, check for damage, 
and use the correct blade or bit. Aspects concerning the care and maintenance of the batteries used in cordless power tools. Keep the battery recharged, do not overcharge, and do not allow the battery to be completely discharged. Some safety precautions to be observed with portable power tools. Check for broken plugs. Check the operation of switches. Check for missing covers. And do not work in wet areas. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and to share these videos.